will be able to help us. Yes, that is the bridge that is Wait, wait. You mean this is the lady you described to me? The shapeless wish everybody needs to see? But she is the total opposite of what you told me about her. Just look at her eyes. Her complexion. Her waist. Imagine her irresistible stature and humble appearance. If I had met her before your husband, I would have gone ahead and found her caught myself. She's so, she's so disheartening and pretty. Don't honor her. Men are unpredictable creatures. It's true, partners. How can you describe a dog lady as beautiful, even when she cannot take your compliments? I feel you have an opinion, which is why you are attracted to her. But you know what? You have lost. I don't know what you're talking about. All I know is that she's a complete angel and opposite of all you told me about her. Hey. You know what? You will rather stay here. I can sit here and watch you insult me in my husband's house. You better. I don't know why such a handsome, promising young man like Omalinze will decide to ruin his own life with bad and indecent behavior all over it is in answer and beyond. Don't say that I told you. History has it that his mother was raped at Omudzeleke and her parents threw her out. She now went to Ajofia to give birth to him and Ajofia promised to save and keep him alive. He took after his rapist father, whom is believed to be a criminal. But nobody can destroy the sword of the gods, except the gods who dealt him by themselves. He is an outcast, yes, but an offspring of the gods. My dear, I also heard the reason for his unrepentant crimes is because he reportedly dragged an indigent old man from the bed and took his wife to stay. That young man Imagine. has a lot of evil stories surrounding mm -hmm. him. Hey, the more reason he excommunicates himself from people all the time. Yet the priest's wife, Urena, still gives him access to her body, knowing that he is evil. <laughs> <laughs> what do you expect? Birds of a feather flows together. Hey! I pity him more, seriously. You There's no time I see him in this community that I don't get to. is an understatement. Pretty damsel. Fine girl. My beautiful Uri. The epitome of ancient beauty. You know what? I'm still wondering how your husband was brainwashed to marry this ugly, dumb head of a woman. Even if he's free for keep. 
<laughs> now you are talking like the man I fell in love with. <laughs> I knew this worthless dumb girl would not impress you for long. <laughs> when you were busy praising her the other day, I knew it was my flattery just to pull my legs. <laughs> but now the gods have vindicated me. <laughs> you know, if this village was created by women, men would be bereaved of sweet tongues. You can say that again. <laughs> now tell me, how has your husband been treating you? is getting worse. He doesn't answer my greetings nowadays. And it's so painful. I am so pained considering the fact that the reason he's doing all this is as a result of marrying this worthless dog girl. But I would teach her that if a young colleague lifts up a senior colleague in a scuffle, a load of utensils will crash upon her. I... I understand your anger. But you have to calm down, my lady. You have to. He who walks with caution does not hurt his toes on his thumb. You have to take things easy so that we do not make mistakes. Yes. And remember, beware of the dumb. For the God speaks for them and protect them. going to do my princess? I don't know. I can't believe my own Omalize is so reluctant in doing something about this. What about the royal family? How do they take the news? I don't even care how they take the news. I am more concerned about the damage it will cause in my marriage. See, we need to find a way out so you won't endanger the life of your children if the prince sends you out of the palace. See? Because that is another possible thing the prince is capable of doing. Okay. Uh, in that case, I need you to organize a meeting with Omalidi as soon as possible. Please, my sister, if possible, let him come to the palace. Please. Because I need solution. I don't even know what to do. <laughs> you know what? Okay. I, I have to go. I, I will see you, okay? Just take this, please, okay? Your Majesty, you sent for me. You look very pensive. Is everything okay? There is thunder in the sky, Edoga. I think Prince Anusaleze has something he knows. How do you mean? I think he has found out that I am not his real father. He threatened to make me abdicate this throne and take over the throne which rightfully belongs to him. This is very serious. But who must have told him about With who else if not the queen? Or did you? Oh, you know I can't do a thing like that. 
knowing the dangers that surround no i didn't and i wouldn't I have tried everything possible to make sure that Onu Soleze does not have an heir. Now, Abaleke has given him the right that he now have a second wife. I heard that his wife is pregnant. I was thinking that my relationship with that mistress from Abagana would be fruitful. I was thinking that she will give me an heir. Now she is not where to be found. Not even in the deep blue sky. I don't know what is happening to this dream. You are still the king. Yes, you are. We will either find a way to persuade him to leave the throne or better still find a way to deny him the throne and not even the queen can stop us from that i've always trusted you my friend do something yes. Yes. i will it's a promise that has to be kept i will Urena, what is wrong with you? Don't you think about my future in terms of ambition? Don't you know at my age, I should have my own family no matter how tender? This is an opportunity for us to get married. And here you are asking me to get you pregnant with a son for that prince. I cannot marry you, Malinze. The worst husband is better than thousands of good men friends out there. You keep on complaining about your husband's wickedness towards you. But here I am with full vigor, offering myself to you on the platter, so we can start afresh. Oh, Marisa, I cannot marry you. All I want is for you to eliminate this good-for-nothing girl, help me to regain my control in my husband's house. That's all I want from you. I cannot do that. I cannot kill that man. You must do this work, oh, Marisa. Remember, I have records of your undetected atrocities in this community. Remember the young woman you tied in that evil native Please. doctor's shrine? The children you kidnapped, the things you've stolen in this village, I can easily give you out for execution. And you and I know the gods will find you guilty. Hey, Ure. There is no need for this argument. The only problem that defies solution is death. We have to find a way to get rid of your co wife. We have to be careful. Greeting you. Oh, yes, 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 I know. I've seen her. Yes. Thank you. How come this your unexpected visit? It is very unexpected because the palm tree is growing in fruit at this point. Yes. And it is the duty of we, the elderly, to admonish the young ones about certain issues that concerns our historical sequence. Ichi, what are you talking about? What I'm talking about is simple. But if you feel that my visit to your place is not accepted, then by the fire in your kitchen, cast it away. But I advise you to return me. But if you find it useful, cultivate it and reserve it for posterity. Ichema, yes, I'm to hear you out. 
Or do you want to eat before we start discussing? No. No. Huh? No. The only appetite I have now is the appetite of admonishing our young ones. Telling them to understand the ills that is happening in our community. When the blind man dips his food on the floor instead of the plate on the table, the brothers around <laughs> begin to scratch their brows in shame. Yes, my prince. You must understand what I'm talking about. Pichet Doga, permit me to say that your way of talking is a great advantage which the gods have used to bless you in a way. And it has spiced the advantage and the respect which you've wedded within and outside Etitinansa. Now tell me, what are you talking about? Your mates have excommunicated you. Yes. And most of them have even withdrawn their support towards you. Even the women folks have formed a gossip league against you. How do you want to solve this problem? I've not noticed what you've just said. Why would someone want to excommunicate me? Because you married that dumb wife of a woman that an outcast is better than. Yes. Now look at the embarrassment. When are you going to be tired of this your sign language? If you are not ashamed, our kinsmen are. What is wrong with you? Iche Doga, your observations are right. But before we proceed, Let us drink the cola knot. Um, okay. He who brings cola brings life. They say Is again what I'm talking about. Look at this embarrassment. That she could just break into a discussion without the courtesy of an apology. Are you not tired of this? Richard Dogger, may we proceed, please? Let me tell you. If you don't know what to do, I'll tell you. Go and marry another wife and face this woman away. Yeah, Toji, Konim and Toji. I've told you this is very important, more than this. Chase this woman away. Chase your wife away first. How? My wife is not dumb. She is sane too, and she will not behave. I am done! Why do you stand there looking at me as if I'm a global master? Therefore, pretending you don't know what I'm talking about. I ask. Who told Prince Onusole that I am not his real father? I did. You did? He needed to know the truth. So I had to tell him the truth. Why are you scared about the same truth that will certainly be opened someday? Why have you decided to be rebellious towards the throne of the Pride Land, the Titanasa? Rebellious, you said? Igwe and Igweze. Do you think I am daft? Look, all I've been trying to do is to protect my son's interest. I know you orchestrated a plan to deprive him of the throne. 
his birthright. Do not forget that most destinies are primarily determined by mothers before the gods approve of it. Oh, what are you talking about, woman? Urena's marriage with my son was supported by you. You supported it because you knew she was a woman of easy virtue. Oh, you thought she could cheat on my son and my son would die. But my son did not die. And you refused to support him again to remarry. Because you thought that the new wife would give him an heir. Why are you so full of evil thoughts? We had an agreement before the leveret concerning the throne. Igwe and Ibeze. My son Onosoleze is indestructible. And he must take over the throne from you. We had an initial agreement and we must stick to it. You want to ignite an inferno that will make me go up in flame. Why do you want to ruin me? Because you ruined me first. By having a carnal knowledge of your mate, Iruka from Abagana. Oh, you think I don't know? I was the one who sent her out of the palace. Yes, and let me shock you again. I made sure I flushed her womb before she left. You promised you and I forever. I married you because I want to secure the throne for my late husband, your brother. But your evil thoughts had made you an enemy to all that agreement. He who breaks the edges, the serpent will bite. Have you not know noticed changes in her body? She's pregnant. That means your suggestion that wait until the gods determine her position on the earth. I doubt it will not be too late. And I know that her parents will not want to take her back because there will be no suitor to come for her. Honestly, let's go and break the custom in your own interest. Her presence here is odoriferous. And as long as she stays around here, that order will remain and repel people away from you. Man, you too. I don't care. I do not care at all. Everyone has his or her own life to live. <laughs> what would it profit you to die for one woman and have 20 of them come for your burial? <gasps> I'm so lazy. Think about this. I can even volunteer to look for a beautiful woman for you. What? Arrange her like arrange her. You understand? Arrange the woman for you. What? Teacher, let us enjoy this matter. A vulture does not finish her mouth in one day. I will talk to another person for deliberation and assistance. One needs companion to undertake a risky job. Did you just mention another person for an assistance? Yes, because you're the one who suggested I chase her way and take another wife. Mm. I think I need another advice on this. Yes, that is true, but you have to take it easy. Huh? It is too early to bring another person's advice into this. Huh? They might think I influenced you to do so. Do you understand me, William? I oh, take it easy, my son. Don't be too in a hurry. Eh? Oh. Mm. I don't know why Omalize is dragging his feet in doing this for me. That 
girl needs to be eliminated before she gives birth to whatsoever she's carrying in her, in that stomach of hers. I am surprised myself. It's supposed to be at the pivotal point to make sure your pride and happiness is returned to the palace. I want a Willie dead. Her presence challenges my confidence in the palace. Don't worry. We will find a way around making him do your bidding. Trust me. I will do that. Hey, yeah. Greetings, Your Highness. Now tell me, Edoka, how did it go? That woman must have given the prince a portion from her witchcraft. She's not ready to leave that dumb woman. Even if she remains barren. Edoka. We must use all cajoling means, except violence, else it will boomerang on us and we will eventually lose the throne. No, no, that's out of it. You can't lose the throne. No. How did you come about that? No. We must try everything possible. To make sure that our Willie does not have her feet in this kingdom. And you are sure of a plot of land in this kingdom. A full barn of yams. Ten baskets of turmeric. I don't mind if you go fetish. Oh, at you, my, your majesty. I will anchor this matter with possibilities of subsequent trial. I will go right now. Onye Jogubu, Angoludo, Ndine Kweroni Si Mekubi Obuloku, Ye Kwenuku, Mababi Obulegu. Sawaleke, the mouthpiece of the gods of Etitinansa. Stay away from the prince and his new wife, else you'll incur the wrath of the gods upon yourself. <laughs> no, 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 no. Leave that, leave that part, leave that part. Marrying a girl from another village is against our tradition. That cannot happen, especially not when I'm alive. It's an erroneous act which you stand to protect. Huh? No, I will not live to see that happen. If you do not redirect your steps, where you are going to in life will be closer than you expect. Do you wish me dead? Leave the priest and his family alone. The gods have not found him guilty yet. As long as I live, that marriage will not work. No way! No way! As long as I live! No! That marriage will not work. No! 
Ibno, Ibano. Ah ah. Ameme. Ameme. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Ameme. That marriage will not work. Ah. You are threatening me. All right, man, the boss will never forsake me. You asked her to give it to me, right? Did she give you? Where is it? She couldn't even give you something to pick your feet. Well, as a kind and gentle woman that I am, beg you to speak. You want to up, man? It's a problem. Listen to me. Fred not about that. Is she not the same person that gave me water the other day? She also served me juice while I was waiting for you. Defend her. I am happy she snubbed you. Yes! I am happy that she snubbed you. At least you've seen the kind of evil woman that she is. Well, the fly that catches on our food must be crushed. Else, we swallow it with the food. Yes. But Esther Kem must be taken to our best building before because of the fly. Now listen to me. When you raise the idea of eliminating her, I remember requesting you provide ground for this execution. How far have you come? You are an expert, so you give the solution. For me to attain a successful operation, your maximum assistance is needed. So you need the way. Oh, 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 oh. So now it has to do with who right now. I should be the way. Oh, but listen, have I been the one giving you ideas with all you do best friends you've been committed in this kingdom? Hey, have I? Hey, watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. You need to receive your voice. So now it has to do with me. I should be the way. I know your plan. I know your plan is to sleep with that woman, but over my dead body will do that. I will never allow you to go close to her. Stupid egos. Stupid egos. Nonsense. Please, is there one in this house? I just have to go. Yeah. You don't spend time these days in my house. You're always in your home. Sure. This is Adema. You know, my wife's tummy is protruding every day. Yes. And no one is by her side to run an errand for her. Hey, I understand what you're saying. I understand. That is exactly the reason I've always suggested that you should at least hire one of the maids in the royal home to do the errands for her. You see, I don't want all those distractions in the palace. That's why I left the palace in the first place, to live separately. My prince, do you not know that at a time like this, your wife Ijawole needs a maid? A maid who will be running small, small errands for her? Yes! Whatever a maid can do, I, Prince Omosalese, can do it better. Oh, there you are with your private life again. What can be able to I've always known you to be a very private person. You live a private life. What? How do you care? Listen, I'm not afraid of carrying out murder assignment, but it is paramount I get first hand information on some certain basic habits at night in your compound. That will help me with a successful operation. What information do you need? When does the household go to sleep? Where and in what position? You see, this information needs to be properly harnessed in this planning stage. Well, we sleep early enough. Our husband patrols the compound before going to sleep, and he never wakes up till morning before going to work. Wait, do you all sleep in the same room? No, I don't share the same room with them. 
For three seasons, my husband has never invited me to come sleep with him. This would pose a very big problem. How do we gain entry into this house? We need to get some specifics for us to twist and fix. Actually, I'm at a loggerhead with my husband. But I will discuss with him and get back to you. We need to sort everything out and eliminate Awili in less than one week. Another thing. You need to consult the gods. Because I have a very strong feeling that the gods will not allow you to harm her. Unless you make a passionate case of justified aggression against her. Probably you appease the oracle for them to silence her spirit. Then we can strike. And you think the gods will allow me to kill anyone, no matter how cogent my reasons are? Urena, you know what? That aside, I think what I need right now is to satisfy my burning fire. <laughs> I need to drunk it so me now and not tell me come on, baby. <laughs> Mama Linza is still sleeping with my wife, Irena. They are still making their evil plans against our lady. My friends, I wonder why you are yet to take reactions that will put an end to all this nonsense. I can only react when there is something to react on. That has always been your. What? So tell me, what are the new strategies? Rena will undertake to come to me. The agreement that she will start sleeping with me again. Why would she do that? Who told her that hustling for sleeping over with you is going to make her get a male child for you? Listen to me, my brother. Everybody needs to understand that having a child is the prerogative of the gods. I mean, this same Urena has been the one who has been desecrating your matrimonial bed with that unrepentant role, Gomalese. It cannot validate pregnancy. Getting pregnant is the prerogative of the gods. Uh, well, I don't know. It's another need to compile better information to enhance plot. That is nonsensical. It is obvious that what Urena thinks at a time like this is that she can comfortably eliminate Ijawale. My question is, who told her that Ijawale is just any kind of girl that she would eliminate just like that? Well, Money from Babano eating I can see an Oh, oh the beautiful ladies of Etetenasa. Greetings, Iche. Greetings, Iche. How are you? I'm sure you're about to go and fetch water from the stream. Yes, Iche. Oh, oh mama, you look beautiful. Ah! Why do you Can I have a word with you? Very important one at that. How may I help you? Oh, you can't help me. No, no. I'm in a better position to help you. I mean, liberate your family. Yes. What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is that um, Iwe Anibeze, 
the revered king of Etitilanza is interested in you and wants to make you his wife and then you will become the queen of Etitilanza sounds beautiful eh? Iche Doga, are you sure you understand what you're talking yes, about? Yes, absolutely. Yes! You know, the king is a man with very, very few words. So all you need to do, tell me when and where it is convenient for you. In private and he will be there. Yes. To see you. I can't imagine what you are saying is the truth. Oh, you better start imagining how beautiful you will look on those your queen attires. How you will walk alacandastically, majestically around the village of Etitinansa. And of course, people will start to envy you. <laughs> yes! Hmm? And even a dog at one point will say to you, Greetings, the queen of Etitinansa. It will be such a good feeling. Hmm? Mama. <laughs> and don't forget that this is a secret between me and you until you meet the king. Okay? Hmm. Secret. Hmm? Don't forget the word secret, huh? Okay. Um, okay, and let's go. What did he call you to tell you? Oh, <laughs> he said, um, he, he wants me to teach his daughter how to dance. Yes. How to dance? Mm -hmm. Are you now the great dancer that he sought for your tutelage in terms of dancing steps? What happened to Cheta, our renowned dancer, who is also the head of the Wokiti, a titinanza? Tell me already what you know. What did he tell you? Why? Why are you sounding like a, you, you suspect I'm lying? No, no. Uh, He's waiting to... over you. What's the meaning of that? He said I should teach his daughter how to dance. What's bad if he chooses me? This eh? is not a laughing matter. What do you know? <laughs> you know you are lying. You know you, are, you know it. You are You're lying. not serious. Let's go, Joe. Please, let's go. Are you serious now? It's not a laughing matter. I'm very serious. Here. Uh -uh. <laughs> My sweet husband, the man of my youth. I actually brought this for you. <sighs> my husband, I have a pressing matter I want to discuss with you. A plea for a little favor. This one you brought food for me to eat today. I thought you discharged your obligation towards me. I thought you've left me with impunity to becoming everybody's woman. I'm sorry, my husband. I only reacted out of jealousy and aggression. Those who taught you how to apologize should also teach you the customary prerequisite to such absolution. Pardon my inadequacy, my husband. A food made by a child, test childishly. Please allow me to make my request. No. If you're here to initiate a reconciliation, 
then do it in the way of custom. I'll go back to whoever that taught you or sent you and learn how to prepare the proper ritual. My husband, the issue I want to discuss with you is an urgent one. Please accept this fruit and allow me to tender my request. Read my lips. I am not going to eat your fruit until you test it. What? Yes. Are you trying to say I poisoned this fruit? <laughs> oh, Mr. Lisa, are you trying to say I poisoned the fruit? Are you trying to say I poisoned it? No, tell me you're going hey, to kill hey, me hey, today. Hey, hey, stop. Are you trying to say I poisoned it? Stop this. No! Let the people hear me! Stop. Are you trying to say I poisoned the fruit? No, no, no. This is not right. This is not right at all. How do you expect me to remain silent and not act in a situation like this? Just calm down, okay? Calm down. Calm down? Someone insulted my husband and engaged him in a fight. And you tell me to calm down. I understand your grief. Okay? It's very clear to me. But you have to calm down so we can reap the benefit to revenge. Okay? You're not going to talk now. I will tell you when to talk. I can defend myself. Okay, please. I just, I just don't want to disobey you. But this is not right. Are you okay? Hmm. This is a serious case of acquisition. I mean, how could Urena go to that extent by trying to kill her own husband in a way of poisoning his own food? How on earth would she do that? Your Majesty, this is an embarrassing situation. So what, what do we do now? Um, I think it's um, important for us to invite Abaleke, the mouthpiece of Etitinaza, to handle the situation since it involves the royal home. We must make sure we have an unbiased judgment in a situation like this. Yes. If that is the case, both families involved will produce those that had the quarrel to broker settlement before the king and the mouthpiece of Amadieke. I do not know my daughter Urena to be a killer. Well, we all know the procedures involved in handling situations like this, uh -huh. isn't it? Igwe, please. I want you to procure the food for surveillance and safety until the appointed date. Shofin, um, the food will be well uh, procured until that day. God? Your Majesty. Please inform the food and beverage department that the elders are here. Okay, Your Majesty. Let's become brothers. Let's become. We will. We will. My the elders will sit in jury tomorrow to advance justice in this matter. Your mother and I will be a somber that only each year with a difference in this community cannot afford to be disgraced in public. Tell us, my daughter. Father, Onusoleze has punished me a lot under his roof since I got married to him. And you people have piously intervened in our differences. 
And I took it in good faith. Considering how... Um, um, Uwe, please forget all these things you're saying. Huh? Your father and I do not have all the time to listen to all these details. Well, go straight to the point. Huh? Be brief. Pico, how about you? No. Just Father, my husband has cast me away even before he got married to his new wife. He abandoned me with my children to die of hunger just because they are not male. His new wife is expecting. Yet he still doesn't want me. The other day, I went to meet him to request he readmit me into his bed for me to enable me beg the gods for another child. And so let accused me of poisoning his food. He embarrassed me in front of his new wife. Um, uh, okay. Did you say he embarrassed you before his new wife? How did he do that? He asked me to leave with the food and leave it for another day. Can you taste the food before everyone? Yes, father. If you ask to taste it, can you? Yes, father. Why would I poison my husband? Why would I poison his food? Um, okay, mommy. Ada, mommy. Please, we are your family. Eh? Tell us the truth. Are you sure you can test that food tomorrow in Mother, the public? How can you even say such a thing? Why will I poison my husband's food? Why will I want to kill my husband? Stop crying, my daughter. Stop crying, my daughter. I assure you of our unmitigated support in this matter. Provided your mother and I, Ichiobia Somba, will not be humiliated before our son in law. You must make a positive presentation that will endear you to the hearts of the elders in jury. We must not be humiliated by our son-in-law tomorrow. You must not allow him to defeat you tomorrow. I did poison his food. Why would I even poison my husband? Okay, Why is only so they treat him in this way? This is heartbroken. I'm not going to be. 